Okay, so now we so have created the basic building blocks of our add friends procedure. Now we're going to add a for loop that's going to click the add friend button several times. So in order to do that, let's go to our toolbox and let's add the for loop. What is the for loop going to do? A for loop is going to cycle through the process that we're going to add after this and it's going to repeat it as many times as we want. Now let me explain you the different things on this on the for loop that we inserted here. So first of all we have a start loop. So what does start loop do? We have to connect our exit point to, uh, to the start loop to activate the start loop. So let's walk again through our procedure. So first thing we click on the on the link network up in the menu. After that we click on the connect button. Connect to friend. So let's add the perform click. But let's add it after our loop. So once the perform click has loaded let's start our loop and yielded means let's start the loop this means initiate the loop and this means start the cycles in the loop break is gonna break out of the loop in case of a condition is met and completed means once the once the loop is has ended it is going to go into completed now index index is the number or the row that you are currently at or the position in the loop initial is the starting point increment is every how much you increment throughout the cycles and limit is how many times you want to do this loop so in this example let's do this five times so what are we going to do we're going to wait for the button to create and then after that we're going to start our loop and click the invite button five times however uh, this is going to be done way too quickly for us to see to see it happen so in order for us just to observe what's happening let's add a pause now a pause oh, i have added the pause already what is a pause going to do a pause after we perform a click is going to stop the automation for 1000 milliseconds 1000 milliseconds is one second so let's also finish up let's clean up a little bit our procedure so let's add a, a label jump to success on completed let's jump to a failure and now we are ready to start our procedure let's also change one more thing in our main automation let's not start our procedure with a click anymore but let's start it automatically Now let's test everything. I forgot to add a breakpoint. Let's see if I'm still in time to add one. I have just added one. Maybe it's going to work. It will build the procedure with the breakpoint. Okay, we have see, we see that the application has started running and has automatically started at the first breakpoint. So in order to see this better, let's go back to LinkedIn and let's close this window since we don't need it anymore and let's follow step by step our automation and see what happens so it waits for to create for the network button it clicks on the network button okay it waits to create for the for the link buttons 
and now it enters the loop. It performs the first click, it waits one second. Now let me reposition the mouse. Let me make this a little bit bigger so you see what's going on. Now let's push F10 again. It sends another invite, waits for a second, performs another click, waits for a second, starts the loop again, performs another click, and so on. Now once the loop has been completed, we can see that we jump to success. And let me show you in the application what is going on. So we jump to success. And that's how we terminate our application. Let's end the runtime environment. And in the next video, we will clean up this a little bit and make it a little bit more solid.